You won't believe the variety of experiences and hidden gems I found aboard Wonder of the Seas. I'm taking you through the ship's eight neighborhoods so you know exactly what to expect. It's coming up right now on... Welcome to the ultimate Wonder of the Seas Neighborhoods Tour. Today, I'll explore the most exciting areas of this massive cruise ship. With so many incredible neighborhoods on this ship, it can be overwhelming to decide where to spend your time. But fear not, because I am here to guide you through all the highlights. First up, let's stroll through Central Park, a serene oasis at sea with its lush greenery and peaceful ambiance, located on Deck 8. It's the perfect spot to relax and unwind as you take in the beauty of nature. Yes, on a cruise ship. Unlike the typical pool deck environment, Central Park offers a tranquil oasis where you can unwind amidst lush greenery, towering trees, and winding walking paths. Breathe in fresh air and reconnect with nature as you meander through this meticulously landscaped area. Central Park is home to a collection of specialty restaurants like Chop's Grill and Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. One of my favorite places to grab a coffee, fresh fruit cups, and fine deli sandwiches is the Park Cafe. The cafe's signature offering is the Kummelwick Roast Beef Sandwich. The sandwich is a favorite among Royal Caribbean guests and features slow-roasted beef with secret seasonings on artisan bread. Everything in the cafe is included in your cruise fare. For those who truly want to immerse themselves in the park's ambiance, balcony cabins overlooking Central Park offer a serene retreat which is especially pretty at night when the gardens are lit up. While Central Park provides a welcome escape, some might find the balcony staterooms to be a little noisy from the pool and giant movie screen up on deck 15. If you're considering a Central Park balcony room, keep in mind that there are interior rooms that have large picture windows overlooking the park. These rooms offer beautiful views but with less noise. Next, we'll head over to the thrilling boardwalk where you'll find fun for the whole family from a nostalgic carousel to the rock climbing wall. This is a popular area of the ship. The boardwalk on Wonder of the Seas transports you straight to a classic seaside pier and it's located on deck six aft. First, you're greeted by the nostalgic sights and sounds of a bustling mid-Atlantic boardwalk. A hand-painted carousel is a big draw for kids of all ages, while the aroma of hot dogs and fresh candy fills the air you can challenge your kids to a classic arcade game at Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade. You'll also find Johnny Rockets on the boardwalk, which is a specialty dining restaurant for lunch and dinner, meaning it's not included in your cruise fare. It's not exactly my favorite, uh, at least for the price. But here's a secret. If you go to Johnny Rockets for breakfast, there is no extra charge and it's usually easy to find a table. The thrill-seeking can test their skills on a rock climbing wall and the whole family can enjoy the aquatic show Intense at the stunning Aqua Theater located at the aft end of the boardwalk. Check the Royal Caribbean mobile app to see when the rock climbing wall is available and be sure to make reservations for the Aqua Theater show Intense. The show does book up, but standby seating is usually available. Let's make our way to the heart of the ship, the Royal Promenade on deck five. You'll be immersed in a bustling neighborhood reminiscent of your local shopping mall. You'll find designer boutiques several places to grab a drink like the Schooner Bar, Boleros, and one of the most popular bars on the ship, the Cask and Clipper, which is an English style pub. You'll find beer and live music inside. And if you prefer a classic drink, there are cocktails on the menu too. The Latin inspired Boleros is a staple on Royal Caribbean cruise ships. Most cruisers go here for the signature cocktail menu featuring rum-based drinks and an upscale atmosphere, but make no mistake, you can go in casual attire. Boleros also has a live band playing popular Latin music. Sorrento's Pizza is one of the most popular spots for New York style thin crust pizza. I personally think it's exceptionally good. Sorrento's is open late, so it's perfect for a late night gathering and snack. It's also a great place to sit if there is a performance on the Royal Promenade. And speaking of performances on the Promenade, check your cruise planner for special events happening here. In the evening, there's live jazz music, 70s disco music, the Anchors Away Parade, which is highly recommended by the way, and even shopping events. There's usually a sidewalk sale on day seven as well. Spotlight Karaoke is a multi-purpose venue hosting most of the ship's trivia contests and smaller games. 
in addition to karaoke, of course. The trivia contests are a lot of fun. I recommend arriving about 20 to 30 minutes before as seats are very limited. It's right across from Sorrento, so maybe secure your seats, then send someone over for a pizza to snack on. One of my favorite late night spots is Cafe Promenade. This is the ship's 24 hour coffee shop. You'll find pastries, sandwiches, specialty coffees, and regular coffee. If you're an early bird, this is where you can find coffee before the restaurants open in the morning. Royal Promenade also has various shops for watches, jewelry, and fragrances. There's a next cruise office where you can book your next cruise using special offers, the photography center where you can purchase any onboard photos, guest services, and the excursion center. Guest services is extremely busy on embarkation day and the night before disembarkation. The pool and sports zone located on deck 15 is where you'll likely spend a lot of time while on board Wonder of the Seas. As you step into this vibrant area, you'll first encounter the expansive pool deck lined with chairs and loungers. The centerpiece is the main pool, a hub of activity during the day. Whether you're taking a refreshing dip or simply soaking up the sun, this is the perfect spot to unwind and enjoy the ocean breeze. Adjacent to the main pool, you'll find the perfect storm racing slides and the ship's water slide park. Splashway Bay is a large water playscape for little ones located adjacent to the perfect storm. The pool and water slides are found midship way above the Central Park neighborhood. The Lime and Coconut is a nearby pool bar. You'll also find Sprinkles ice cream, complimentary of course, along with towel stations. Now, don't forget your CPASS card because you will need to sign out your towels and sign them back in. Your CPASS card is your room key. Let's go to Deck 15 aft where you'll find even more activities like the sports court and the ship's zip line, which soars high above the boardwalk neighborhood below. Wonder Dunes is the first of its kind miniature golf park. I recommend playing at night not only because it's too hot during the day, but also because it lights up at night. The sports court is usually open for open play basketball, soccer, and pickleball, very popular with teens and young adults. And for the ultimate thrill seekers, the Flowrider Surf Simulator awaits. Check the Royal app for events being held at Flowrider from beginner classes to competitions for experienced surfers. The ultimate abyss slide consists of two towering side-by-side -side slides that twist and turn for a thrilling ride from deck 16 aft down to the boardwalk on deck six. You'll access the ultimate abyss from deck 15. Keep in mind, this isn't a water slide. And once you land on deck six, you'll be close to the rock climbing wall. Check the Royal Caribbean app for times on that. Arrive a few minutes early when doing Flow Rider, the zip line and the rock climbing wall because you will need to sign a waiver. The line for a Flow Rider can get very long too. One of the best things about Wonder of the Seas is that Windjammer, the ship's buffet restaurant, is located right in the heart of Deck 15, so it's easy to grab lunch and dinner while you're having fun. El Loco Fresh, a quick service taco restaurant, is located on Deck 15 as well, serving up average Mexican cuisine. I can't say it's my favorite, but it definitely works when you're at the pool and need a snack. On Deck 15 forward, you'll find the Solarium. This is the only adult area of Wonder of the Seas. It's a climate controlled environment that leans a little bit on the warm side, more like a spa, so you won't find the air conditioning blasting here. There are several pools, loungers, and whirlpools. The solarium is usually not too crowded, so it's a great place to relax away from the main pools. The solarium is all the way forward, so it has amazing panoramic views of the ocean, similar to what the captain sees from the bridge. Studio B is part ice skating rink, part activity zone, and part nightclub. You can skate here during the day when there's open skating, and at night you can watch a popular ice skating spectacular. When the ice isn't needed, like when the space is used for laser tag, family game shows, or the red nightclub, crews just slide out a retractable floor that covers the ice. Advanced reservations for the ice shows are required and many of the activities like laser tag also require reservations. You'll need to check the cruise planner for times and reservations. The Royal Theater on decks four and five forward is where you'll find various performances like small concerts, vocalists, magicians, and other performances on a nightly basis. Not all shows have reservations, but I recommend making them when offered. Wonder of the Seas is unique in that there's no typical Broadway show in the theater. 
The Attic houses late night comedians on most evenings plus a few other events. If Battle of the DJs is being offered on your cruise, you should definitely check that out. I recommend making reservations for any of the shows in this venue. Royal Caribbean's Royal Casino is located on deck four. This is one of the largest casinos Royal Caribbean has ever built and it's quite nice too. Wonder of the Seas has a smoking side and a smoke-free side, plus an additional smoke-free casino called the Golden Room. If you're familiar with Oasis class ships, the Golden Room is where the Jazz Club would normally be on other ships. If you have booked a suite on deck 17 and 18, you'll be able to utilize an exclusive neighborhood all your own. The suite neighborhood is a private space where guests can enjoy indoor and outdoor activities in a less crowded environment. The suite neighborhood includes the private suite lounge, which is located inside the private coastal kitchen restaurant, a sun deck, pools, and lounge chairs. The only issue with the sun deck is that it's right above the sports deck, so there's some noise coming from that area but the aft views are spectacular. There's an issue where soot coming from the ship's stacks would land on the sun deck and guests, but that doesn't seem to be an issue anymore, at least not while I was there. The suite lounge provides a secluded and sophisticated setting for guests to relax and socialize, plus you'll have dedicated concierge staff who can help with just about anything you need. Youth Zone is home to Adventure Ocean, the collection of kids clubs on Wonder of the Seas. Now I have a dedicated episode on this topic where I go into great detail about what kids of all ages can do on board and I cover Adventure Ocean in more detail. I'll link to it in the first comment below. But in short, Adventure Ocean does an amazing job at keeping babies, kids, tweens and teens busy. This is a must if you have an only child with you or if you plan to have a date night or two. The crew knows how to break the ice for kids and encourage friendships. Most of the introductions happen on the first night, so kids don't want to miss out on that. Wonder of the Seas has one of the best spas on any Royal Caribbean ship. Inside, there are plenty of personal treatments like skincare, cool sculpting, massages, and even a full service hair salon. Just be prepared to get some upsells here. I went for a simple haircut which was great, but the stylist tried to convince me that I was losing my hair and offered several products that would help prevent that. Treatments and massages can be booked individually or by couple. The fitness center on board is amazing. It tends to be busy in the morning and late afternoon. Stretching classes, yoga, and ab classes are offered early in the morning. These tend to be a little advanced, but all are welcome and they are complimentary. Thanks for joining me on this tour of one of my favorite cruise ships. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the tour and subscribe to see my other videos like Wonder of the Seas for Kids and Where to Eat for Free on Wonder of the Seas. My name is Darren from OrlandoParksky.com. See how I can help you for free plus get exclusive cruise offers. And now here comes another great video that has been picked just for you.